Hello, Ana Delmi. How are you doing? Hello. Good evening, Carlos Roberto. Hello everyone, we are gonna start. How is everybody doing? Hello, Hello Anna. Anna Cristina, how are you doing? How are you? Hi. Nice to, to hear that. Okay, I'm going to start taking the attendance. Okay, Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Present. Okay. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Nancy Ivette Tobar Rivera. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Okay. Here we go. 
we're going to start uh, doing a review, okay? Let's remember that in the last class, we were studying the simple past, and we were saying that there are some questions that they require only a yes, no answer, right? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. And also, we have information questions, and they are uh, structured with a WH word. Okay, it could be what, when, where, depending on the information that they are requesting or that you want to request. After the WH word, then you add the auxiliary deed, okay, that transform the verb into past form, okay? So the, the form of the verb that you are going to use in companion of Deed is the base form, okay? And then the complement, right? So let's check and let's remember just a little bit about that, okay? Here we go. Okay, so just remembering about the yes, no questions. I'm going to ask, okay, Sylvia, did you ever forget to check your institutional email account? Excuse me, teacher. Did you ever forget to check your institutional, if you have one, email account? No. No, teacher. No, I I never did. Okay, good. No, I never it's, did. It, it, it's expression, teacher. It's correct. Yes. Never. Yes. The first the first time I, I see. I yes, see. it is. When we studied the frequency adverbs, then you can check that. Okay. Okay. Frequency adverbs. Remember, we were saying sometimes or um, usually. Uh, we could say also um, uh, rarely, yeah, or never, right? Never. Never means that you haven't missed any time, right? So, no, I never did. I always, right? I always check my institutional email, right? Okay. Okay, so for example, if I say, yes, I did a lot of times, oh, I'm usually forgetting, right, to check my institutional uh, email account, okay? Now, Edwin, do you have an institutional email account? What? Do you have an institutional email account? Um, mm. Or do you use a personal account? No. Institutional. Institutional. Did you ever forget to check your institutional email account? Uh, <clears throat> for um, uh, email the word. For, em for email the word. Okay, so you always check your institutional email. Right? Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, <clears throat> I, I checked institutional uh, email uh, because uh, it's important for my work. Okay. So, do you ever forget to check every, your institutional email? Every day. Oh, so you never forget about that. Okay, great. So, you can say, no, I never I did. did. Okay. Porque la pregunta que estamos haciendo ahorita es si alguna vez olvidó eh, chequear su email o su cuenta de email institucional. Entonces usted me responde que nunca, ok, no, I never did, ok. Karina, 
Did you ever forget to check your institutional email account? No, I never did. Okay, great. And Edwin said something very important. And he said, because there is where he receives instructions or communications from work, right? Any message or indications, instructions, right? So that's why he never and Karina never forget, okay? Forget. So let's see. Ahora, este segundo es un ejemplo, ¿ok? Es un ejemplo para que recordemos nada más la estructura de una pregunta que requiere una respuesta fácil, yes or no, ¿ok? Uh, tratemos de utilizar la respuesta completa. Cuando a uno le preguntan, eh, normalmente uno dice, ah, sí, uh, no, ¿ok? Pero... Eh, tratemos de hacerlo un poquito más formal, ¿ok? Esta es la, la formalidad, ¿ok? Did the customer service representative send the receipt and the order's detail to your inbox? And the answer, if he did not, then it is no, he didn't, ¿ok? No, he didn't, ¿ok? Pero si fuera que sí lo envió, ok, entonces, yes, he did, ok. No vamos a responder solo no, yes, no, vamos a completar la respuesta, no, he didn't, or yes, he did, ok. A ver, hágale esta pregunta, eh, por favor, Ani le hace esta segunda pregunta a Carlos Roberto, ok. Did the customer service representative set the receipt in the order detailed to your inbox? Uh -huh. Carlos Roberto? Yes, we did. Okay, great. So let's continue and let's practice this little conversations. Okay, these are short conversations and we are going to practice um, something related with the yes, no questions. But I want you to notice that no siempre va a ser una respuesta, no, sí, okay? Eso es lo, lo que estoy tratando de dejar con ustedes, okay? So in this conversation time, you should notice, okay? You, you should notice that Look at the answers, okay? Look at the answers. They have a complete sentence and complete explanation, okay? Because uh, if we do that at the same time that they are asking uh, a yes, no question, then we avoid further questions, okay? La manera de evitar una siguiente pregunta, que lo saquen a cucharadas, ¿verdad? Con una siguiente pregunta. Entonces es mejor de un solo decirle, sí, fíjese que yo ya vi, pero mire, es easier, right? Entonces, tenemos muchas maneras de comunicarnos, muchas maneras de responder una pregunta, ¿ok? Esta es otra manera y muy práctica. Quizás es la más práctica cuando uno habla por teléfono o platica con alguien acerca de una situación en el trabajo, ¿ok? and your jobs. So let's read number one. Number one says, did you check the spam folder? It might be there. What are they talking about? ¿De qué estamos hablando aquí? Did you check the spam folder? It might be there. ¿Qué creen que está preguntando qué está pasando ahí? Uh, person who received the, the, the email. I don't, mm, didn't, find, didn't find. Okay, yes, he, he can't find the email that supposedly he should receive, right? Maybe with information or whatever uh, information he was waiting for, okay? So it says, did you check the spam folder? It might be there. Okay, let's see the answer. Yes, I checked my spam, but I didn't receive any email from your store, okay? Again, did you check the spam folder? It might be there. Yes, I checked my spam, 
but I didn't receive any email from your store. Ok, a ver, Carlos Eduardo la pregunta y Carlos Alberto la respuesta, ok. Ok, si you set your spam folder, it might be there. Yes, I checked my spam, but I didn't receive an email from your store. Great, thank you very much. Now, Karina and Edwin. Did you check the spam folder? It might be there. Yes, I checked my spam, but I didn't receive them any email from your store. Okay, thank you very much. Anadel, me please with Carla. If you check the spam folder, it might be there. Mm. Es la primera, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, I checked my spam, but it didn't receive any email from your store. Okay, thank you very much. Now let's look at the second conversation. Let's look at the second conversation. It's something about the shipping thing, right? The, sh the uh, shipping process of a product. Someone is expecting to receive or to return or do something with a package, okay? So let's read. Did you use the return label? Yes, I did, but it seems I used an incorrect one. Could you please check in your system? I'd be happy to check for you, ma'am. Did you keep a copy of your receipt? Yes, I did. Can you give me the shipping tracking number on it? Okay, let's read it again. Did you use the return label? Yes, I did, but it seems I used an incorrect one. Could you please check in your system? I'd be happy to check for you, ma'am. Did you keep a copy of your receipt? Yes, I did. Can you give me the shipping trapping? Uh, I'm sorry, the shipping tracking number on it? Okay, now let's listen to, uh, is there any question about the vocabulary here? Any question with this conversation? Seems. What is label? Label, la viñeta. Okay, where the information of the package, the, sh the shipping address, the mailing address, okay, all the details about the products that goes in that package, okay? It seems, what do what I mean? It seems, parece que, yeah. Mm -hmm. Another question? Okay, then let's listen to, let's see, Nancy and Ana Cristina, please. Uh, Inicio yo. Yes, okay. Okay, did you, you, did, did you use the rhetoric label? Yes, I did, but it seemed I use correct uh, one. Could you please check in your I did. I did be happy to check for you, man. Did you keep a copy of your receipt? Yes, I did. Mm -hmm. Can you give? Can you give me the shipping? Breaking number on it. Ok, thank you very much. Ahora, vamos a pedirle, a ver, esta va a ser una, así, explosive and uh, a quick uh, thing, ok? We have to think quickly, think quickly. How, what are we going, I mean, what are we going to do? Okay, we're going to ask Silvio and Carlos Eduardo, okay? And you are going to continue this conversation, okay? You are going to continue this conversation. 
Okay, one, the answer of uh, for that question and one other question. Okay? One other question. Correct? There we go. Okay, let's start. Can you give me the cheap and correct number on it? Okay, uh, let's let's read the complete conversation. Complete. Let's role play and then you continue, okay? Okay. Did you use your return label? Yes, I did, but I but it seems I used an incorrect one. Could you please check in your system? I'd be happy to check for you, ma'am. Did you keep a copy of your receipt? Yes, I did. Can you give me the shipping tracking number on it? Uh, it is uh, A465. Okay, thank you. Uh, can you send me for email, please? Yes, can you, I... Can you what? Uh, can you send me email, please? Yes, I I I send in, in right now. Okay, let's see. This is quickly good, good. Okay, I, I think we can improve a little more, guys. Okay, so let's see. We're going to ask Edwin and let's see and Carla. Ah, oh, Giovanni is over there. Is Giovanni Pineda? Yeah. Okay, Giovanni Pineda and Edwin. Van a agregar después que terminan, dan la respuesta de esta pregunta y una pregunta más. Ok, and one more question. Ok. There you go. Did you use the return label? Yes, I did. But it said I used an incorrect one. Could you please check in your system? I'd be happy to check for you, ma'am. Did you keep a copy of of your receipt? Yes, I did. Can you give me the shipping tracking number on it? Sure. It, it, it is uh, A four four five zero one. Okay. Uh, Uh, would you like would you like to pay uh, with cash uh, <clears throat> no i i i pay in credit card Okay, okay, good, good. Excellent. So now, look, uh, se me olvidó decirles cuando estaba Carlos y, eh, y, y Silvio, cuando ustedes son dos hombres, en vez de decir ma'am, díganle sir, ok? En vez de decirle señora, pues díganle sir, ok? Ok, good. Ok, guys, so you see, uh, it's nice when you feel the conversation and then you ask further questions right to continue with um, asking or requesting for more information right or assisting a client okay let's stop this here y vamos a hacer otro pero de mayor rapidez okay este es mayor rapidez yo voy a mostrar unas flashcards o sea unas tarjetas con un verbo, ¿ok? Y ustedes todos van a decir el pasado del verbo, la forma del pasado, ¿ok? Vamos a ver. Let's start. Quick. A medida pasó, ok, pasó. Si no lo dijeron, pasó, ¿ok? There we go. Let's start. You ready? Are you ready? Okay. There we go. Let's start now.
about uh so no me acuerdo Sol. Ok, voy a volver a Sol. comenzar, voy a volver a comenzar. O ya se fijaron que va el solito, ¿verdad? Ok. I'm going to start over. Tienen que abrir su micrófono todos para poder decir el pasado del verbo así, ¿ok? Let's see. Manage. 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 Sand. 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 Store, no le tengan miedo de decirlo así, wanted. Okay. Wanted. Wanted. Uh -huh. Wanted. Wanted. Okay. Wanted. A ver, una autoevaluación. ¿Cómo van con, cómo sienten que van con el aprendizaje del de pasado de los verbos? Fine. Fine. Great. Yeah. Ten, I mean, a hundred percent. Okay. <laughs> Una autoevaluación. ¿Cómo no, vamos? A ver. Ya, re, ya reprobada. Oh my God. <ríe> no, no. Ok, van a ir. Ahorita todos los verbos estos los hemos visto en los contenidos, ¿verdad? Aquí no hay uno que no hayan visto. Ok. Así que seguimos. Let's continue. And I just want to show you. I, I just want to show you some adjectives okay some adjectives because um in the last class we show that uh, we just listed just listed the adjectives to describe satisfaction or dissatisfaction okay but usually when you describe you are describing something or someone okay Maybe you are describing an animal, maybe you are describing a, another thing, an object, right? So uh, let's see in this list, okay, some of the adjectives and let's try to think in a better way to learn them. La manera de poder extender o expandir nuestro vocabulario es Aprendernos como por pares, ¿verdad? O por grupos las cosas, el uso. Entonces, en vez de aprendernos como el significado, ¿ok? O la, uh, no, no es la palabra significado, la traducción es la palabra, ¿ok? Tratemos de no buscar traducción, tratemos de buscar sinónimos, definición, concepto, ¿verdad? Un opuesto, Ok, un opposite como para recordar lo que no es. Ok, so let's see here we could see some opposite. Ok, 
to the satis, I mean, to satisfaction when you are talking about a, uh, that you are satisfied with the product, okay? So let's see first one, high quality. The opposite for high quality will be low quality, low quality. Aquí he puesto una frasecita, half pie. Esta es una frase que indica que está, pues, sí, sí, algo más o menos hecho. O sea, no está bien pensado, ¿verdad? Ok, no, no es algo tan bueno. Yeah. So high quality, low quality. We could say half pie. Ok. Suitable, non-suitable. Ok. Fine, bad. Para bad, también tenemos otro, no lo hemos escrito acá, lo vamos a poner, que es well, ok? Fine, well, y el opuesto, ¿cuál sería? Bad, ok? Now, good, good. The opposite we could say unpleasant, ok? Unpleasant. Even though you can say pleasant, okay? But the opposite, the nearest opposite will be unpleasant. Premium, something premium. What about the premium apps? Uh, you have to pay for them, right? And they have some other options. So if you are paying and they are offering some other options exclusive only for the paid um, version, then it means that it has to function well, okay? So, because you're paying, so it's premium. What if you are paying something that doesn't function well? Uh, then it's cheap, okay? Eso es algo barato. Uh, I mean, es algo de mala calidad, okay? Now, el opuesto, ¿verdad? El opuesto, yeah? Algo que usted agarra gratis, digamos, de las aplicaciones. Por ejemplo, estamos hablando de las aplicaciones ahí. Uh, it's cheap. Uh, acuérdense que hay tres medidas, ¿verdad? Remember Netflix? Netflix, you can pay the uh, basic, then you have a medium, a, a middle, a medium, right? And then you have the premium one, right? So unique, unique. What is the opposite of unique? Common, common, okay? Creative, creative. Uh-huh. Uncreative, okay? Uncreative. Functional. ¿Cuál es el opuesto de functional? Non-functional or Useless, okay, useless. No tiene una función, ¿verdad? So expensive, expensive. It could be a very good um, qualification for a product. Ah, for example, makeup. If you buy expensive makeup, you are buying a very good product, right? If you buy expensive shoes, you are buying original brands, okay? So expensive is like satisfaction, right? And But the satisfaction will be overpriced. You pay too much for what you received, okay? Excellent, excellent. What is the opposite of excellent? Worst, lo peor, right? Lo peor. También en excellent, para que sea un buen opuesto de worst, puede ser best, okay? Lo mejor, the best, okay? And then, pues podemos decir satisfying or, or satisfied, okay? or disappointing, okay? That will be the opposite, okay? The opposite, when you are talking about an experience, how did you like our product? Cuando le preguntan esto en una survey a usted, o usted le pregunta esto a un cliente, le va a contestar calificando con estas palabras, describiendo 
con estas palabras. Entonces ahí usted puede decir si él está satisfecho o no está satisfecho. Ok. There we go. Are we okay with this? Estos son adjetivos. Ok. Bien. Vamos entonces a comenzar con nuestra cuarta unidad, fourth unit. We go to unit four. Unit four, guys. Oh my God, ya estamos en la recta final. ¿No se alegran ustedes? Are you happy? Yes. Yes, yes we are happy. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Because now we are going to study some accounting vocabulary. Okay. Accounting context related to see how to use some expressions with so and such for him, for example. And also we are going to study the time clauses and the zero conditional, okay? This is what accounting, the context accounting in unit four is going to cover, okay? So we have to be aware of that. So let's start with the topic for tonight. It is accounting vocabulary, guys. Accounting vocabulary. Do we have accountants in this group? Are you an accountant? Who is an accountant here? No accounting, I mean, no accountants, no accounting um, a, um, collaborators in the Department of Accounting? Yes. Okay, yeah, I knew yeah. it, okay, good, good. Maybe you are, you don't have the degree as an accountant, but, but maybe you are doing the job, right? Maybe you studied business administration or maybe you studied marketing, but you are in the accounting department. Maybe you are not an accountant, but you are um, doing the role of an accounting employee, okay? or responsibilities of accounting department. Okay, I remember that Ana Cristina works in accounting too, right? So, um, and people who is working in sales or customer service, or maybe um, mostly in sales or marketing, they are related with the accounting department, right? Because they are presenting results Right. They are presenting results to get paid, okay? And everybody in the company is related with accounting because they pay, okay? Because they pay, yeah? So let's try to learn some terms tonight, okay? Because the goal for tonight is uh, that we are going to, uh, we, we will be able to describe financial activities that your companies or maybe someone else's uh, has, okay? So let's remember the objective, or I'm, I'm sorry, the objective for the complete course, okay? Recordemos el objetivo general de todo el curso, okay? En este curso, we um, pursue that we wanted to develop competencies that will allow you describe features of products, describe processes about selling or buying online. Uh, we were trying to learn something to know customers' opinions towards products that your company sell your company sells, okay? And the last part of this objective is have conversations with others about financial activities. And then we close the whole module, right? So let's 
add this vocabulary for tonight. And this is the agenda, okay? We are going to uh, see accounting vocabulary, okay? We are focused tonight in accounting vocabulary. We are gonna see what is a financial statement and the types of financial statements. The session one-on-one -on -one tonight is for Nancy, okay? Nancy, today is your turn. So let's start. Let's start with this. Please, everybody reading. Accounting is the process of planning, recording, analysis, and interpreting financial information. Okay, now, thank you very much, Giovanni. Thank you very much, Carla. Now, I'm going to read it, okay? The accounting is the process of planning, recording, analyzing, and interpreting financial information, okay? Where do they register or where does an accountant uh, keep track of all the financial activities. Where or how do they do that? Where can you find the financial information of your company? Mm -hmm. Budget. Okay, the budget. Where can you find or where can you um where can you show the budget? Where can you record the budget? Where can you analyze the budget? And where can you interpret? the uh, budget. They make uh, some reports, right? Reports, yes? Yes. Okay, those reports are financial mm -hmm. statements, okay? ¿En dónde se registra todo lo de contabilidad? En los registros financieros, ¿verdad? O los récords financieros. Y entre esos, en esos reportes, ok, hay diferentes tipos. Pero primero veamos. What is a financial statement? What is a financial statement? Okay, we are in our manuals in page 39 and we are in activity one and two now, okay? So let's think, let's think. Do you have any idea how to define what is a financial statement? What is that? Do you have any idea? Okay, then let's read. Yes? A final thing is a report. Okay, great. Number one, it says a financial statement is a report. Okay, great. Statement. Everybody, statement. 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 Okay. 
Now, let's read the next one. Let's read the next one. Okay, a financial statement contains assets, liabilities, owner's properties, data about shares, okay? Let's read the next one. A financial statement is, I'm sorry, is used to show the real situation of cash flow finances, profits, to make decisions, okay? Let's read the next one. A financial statement is prepared by the company, accountant, external or internal audit. Okay, good. So who prepares a financial statement? An accountant from the company, right? It could be an external or internal audit, maybe an office, right? So como outsourcing, right? Also, yeah. So let's see, financial statements types are, y vamos a ir a ver cuáles son los tipos de reportes financieros que existen, bueno, existen más, pero los básicos, ok, los generales, son, están en page 39 in your manuals, ok. Como estamos hablando de vocabulario, ¿ok? La primeritita cosa que vamos a hacer es definir. What is a financial statement? ¿Ok? What is a financial statement? Así que nos vamos a ir a los breakout rooms. Y basados en estos eh, eh, puntos que tenemos acá, ustedes van a crear un concepto. Ese concepto lo van a armar utilizando conectores como por lo que, ok. Por ejemplo, uh, podemos usar qué, podemos usar todos los conectores que en español utilizamos, los podemos meter acá. ¿Cómo? Eso lo, lo vimos en el módulo 1, ok. Ahorita solo estamos recordando. A financial statement is a report that contains assets, liabilities, etc. right? And then it is used, okay? Ahí no necesitamos un conector, podemos poner un punto, yeah? Y así sucesivamente, okay? This is just an example, okay? Utilizando that, utilizando for, utilizando... Uh, when, right? Son conectores que utilizan. Before, after, son otros conectores, ¿ok? With, yeah. Ok. Nos vamos a los breakout rooms y vamos a crear este concepto de qué es a financial statement. Pero cuando lo estén haciendo... Yo quiero escucharlos, ¿ok? Que están hablando exactamente de este tema y discutiendo cómo hacer el concepto, ¿ok? Let's see. Cuando regresemos a la sala, ustedes hacen una pequeña presentación, ¿ok? Nos van a describir o a decir qué es un financial statement, ¿ok? There we go.
a financial statement, a financial statement, so report. Mm -hmm. That's contain assets, the liabilities, owner prepared. Um, uh, I begin in this form. Mm, yes, um, but I think we can start with um, saying and financial statement is is where we can find the financial information of a company. We can say that first. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Again, please. Um, <laughs> I don't know. A financial statement is where we can find we can find we can find Yes. 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 Made this, Tomar made for made decision. Decision, made decision. By the company, accountant, external. Or internal audit. Eh, aquí pienso que es un reporte, un informe en el cual estamos exponiendo a que el auditor pueda dar eh, su, su, su interpretación de la realidad de la empresa. Ah, it's a Hi, teacher. Hello, I'm listening oh, Spanish here. <laughs> Sorry, es que, es que estábamos tratando de interpretar cada una de las líneas. No, only one concept, a global concept of financial statement using that vocabulary you have in those points. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Financial yeah. statements. The and rep report. It's a report, yes. All, all, all that is a, a, a report. The, um, when different, uh, uh, when different uh, contains um, the abilities from the uh, data. <coughs> For me, the, the principal uh, reason of the financial statement is the real situation of the company. Yes, uh, the, the situation, financial situation. Financial situation of the, uh, the uh, results or the assets mm -hmm. of the owner property is yes. uh, global uh, situation. <laughs> financial situation of the company is that the principal represent the real situation okay mm -hmm. yes the... okay pero vamos a seguir viendo por tan para que todos tengan un concepto and... okay the statement is report that contains Assets, liabilities, owners' properties, that's about share. Eso. 
Okay. Juega, entonces vamos. Yes. <laughs> That contains. Who? That contains. Mm -hmm. Assets. Liabilities. Se hace mensualmente o algo así. <laughs> Por ejemplo, el punto número cuatro que dice Financial Statement is prepared by the company accountant, external or internal auditor. El auditor. El auditor para, llega. Es para preparar, preparado por la compañía. Los auditores normalmente llegan, no llegan mensual, sino cada trimestre. Mm -hmm. Y... So we could think about a period of time, right? Hello, here I am. Hello. I'm sorry, Hello, I was just hearing. Hello, teacher. Yeah, instead of saying something specific, in general, we could say a period of time, right? Se prepara como debería. Teacher report. se presenta. Forma. Is presented, mm. is prepared, yeah. according in a period of, of time, pongamos nada más, I think. ¿Cómo? In a period of time, para no poner mensual o utilizar. Así es, in a... In a period. Period. No. Period. Period. Of time. Of. Es que casi no. O, F. Siento que le falta algo. Sí. Yes, um, financial statement contains assets. Hey, people, you can, you can you can access board. to the board, guys. You can access to the board if you see Karina and Nancy and Giovanni Pineda. You may go uh, to the toolbar at the top of the screen. It says ver opciones, see options. Sí, There you can. Annotate if you want to do something with, uh, to help to write in, on the board. Okay, es igual como estando allá. Mm. In the main room, uh -huh. Is that you, Nancy? Mm. <laughs> ¿Este que escribió aquí es usted? No, yo anoté. No, el que está escribiendo. Uh, okay. ok, pero pueden darle de arriba en las opciones. Eh, uh -huh. more, primero en More, luego. Ah, perdón, ahí está el lapicito a un lado, anoté. Yes. Y aquí, ¿qué hice? I only can draw. I cannot. Can, you can access to the board? Can you? Yes, but only with the the pencil, pencil. oh okay uh, yes. yeah it's too much space right yes okay no problem i'm just giving an option for helping carlos right thank you okay hey i use a group the report uh like no parece porque no no me funciona pero ahí está si le da enter sí ah 
Yeah, when the, when you click enter, then it's uh, it shows. No, no, la X de mi teclado no funciona. Por <laughs> oh, as the letter Z of mine. Le voy a poner la S para que... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, guys. See you uh, in a while. So uh, right now I'm going to another group, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Se me ocurría agregar algo de esto. Company, podría... Beneficiaría. Uh, oh. Ya nos hablaron, no. Oh. Mm, creo que no. Pero no, no, no sé. not yet. <laughs> ah, teacher. <laughs> no ando hablando, teacher. Oh, oh. Yes, I have to. <laughs> of the company and for the session making generally in one, one year. Ahí sería in journey también. In journey sería ahí. No, no era take, ahora es make. Es for the company for take decision. Ajá, de decisión. And, and of company and this contains contains contain, contain, access And, uh, a teacher, no se vaya a ir, quería hacer una consulta. <laughs> Hello, que here I am. Tell me. Lo que Silvia nos está compartiendo. The screen. No, algo, algo que, que, que le está. <laughs> okay, tell me, tell me. Eh, yo le decía a Silvia, bueno, well, in English. <laughs> eh, a financial statement is a report to show. Uh, um, and uh, I mean is a financial statement is a report, eh, algo así como to know, to, to, eh, como dar a conocer eh, una situación de, de la empresa. Pero no sé si está bien ponerlo is a report to show o, o si lo cambiamos. It is okay to show. It seems good because you, yes, because you are presenting, right? You are presenting the real financial situation. Okay. So yes, you can use show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and give you a, a complement or part of the, this report. It contains uh, it's a Ana Delmi, are you there? I'm sorry, Carlos Eduardo. I, I think that Ana Delmi was saying something. No? La sí, Hello? escuchando los compañeros que lo que están este analizando lo que nos lo que nos quiere oh. decir ahí de lo de las compañías. Okay. Y pues viendo que él está uniendo, como nos dijo usted que no, y teníamos que hacer un reporte uniendo todas las palabras, o sea, haciendo un, ¿cómo se dice? Un, un análisis. Un concepto, dar... un concepto, Ajá. una definición de financial sí. statement. Ok. Yes. Ok. Sure, I, I can to add uh, the financial statement is a report to principal function is to show the re real situation uh, financial of the company and to make a decision. Uh, no. Como without que... end, without end, just to make decisions. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. You can change also here too, 
for that shows, okay? That shows the real e financial goes before the name because it's like an adjective here or something. So uh, move it, move it back of situation, behind okay. situation. Okay, and then you say a financial statement is a report that shows the real financial situations of the company to, okay, to make decisions. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. 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 Sí. Porque si habla en plural de financial statements, entonces cambiamos R, reports. Yes. Ok. R. Ajá. Reports. Ajá. Y le agrega reports. Right? Exactly. Okay. Y reports. entonces quitamos esta S, that show. Ok. Mm. ¿Sí se entiende por qué? Plural sí. y singular, ok? Oh. Plural and singular. Ok, there you are. Ok. okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and... Now think who is going to say it, ok? okay. 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 Uh, ¿Qué le vas a poner el contenido? ¿Contain? Contain. Um, yes. Contain. Uh, Contain. Okay, people, I'm going to take the attendance and then we are going to talk about the concept, okay? Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Present teacher. Uh, Ana del Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Hola. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present teacher. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. 
Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Ah, Juan Carlos is an accountant, guys. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Ábrego. Present teacher. Nancy Betova Rivera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ok. Let's see. Now let's listen to. I was going to do a different thing tonight, but yeah. Ok. Is everybody ready with the concept? Okay, we're gonna start with uh, Carlos Roberto's group, okay? And let's listen to them what is their concept of financial statements. Go ahead, guys. Um, ¿cómo podemos hacer? Acá todos tenemos lo mismo. Yeah, you, you, may, you may start, okay? And okay. then the other can continue and so on, okay? Okay, está bien, muy bien, empieza. Okay. A financial statement is a very important report to every company in the world <laughs> that contains assets, liabilities, owners, properties, um, data about shares and balance. Okay. It serves the, to imply the real situation of cash flow, financing, profits to make a better decision. The financial statement is prepared by the accountant area or financial manager of the company with the objective of being introduced to external audit area. Okay. Did you finish? No. Anna, Anna. Sí, Anna Cristina. Ah, okay. She's having problems with the audio, I remember. The problem. She has problems. Anna Cristina? She has problems with the signal. Until assignment type part, balance a chip, result status, a state of change in quality and cash flow. Okay, okay. Okay, and for any chance, did you go and see the types of financial statements? Did you go to check in the page 39 in your manuals? No nos alcanzó el tiempo, Tich. Entonces okay. tenemos que improvisar un poco. Vamos okay. a tener okay. balance of payments of income and others. Así es posible. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I placed that over there for you to have an idea what financial statements are, okay? So, let's see, next group. Carlos Alberto, please, with your group. Okay, I'll explain what is a financial statement. The financial statement, and uh, you can find information about the company, represent income, expenses, all the properties, and equity of the company in monetary units. It also shows the real situation financially for to take good decisions. Okay, okay. So it means that we have to evaluate all the uh, information that they show, right? Okay, good, good, thank you. Now let's see, Carlos Eduardo. Anabelmi. Anabelmi and Silvio, okay. Okay. 
You start, Anadelmi. Okay, Anadelmi, please start. Uh, financial states are in report states. To stay real situation, financial or state company, primaries, decisions, and days counter ascending in living on onwards. Okay. Can you guys give me an explanation? Okay, you two guys, Silvio and Carlos, can you give me an explanation of the concept? <laughs> Silvio and Carlos, can you give me an explanation of your con uh, concept? Yes, the, the, the financial statements uh, have to, to show the reality situation of the period of the four years for his, uh, history or the situation real for obtaining a, a uh, other uh, governments or uh, alcaldías, uh, holes, holes, or, holes, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, use to make a decision for the for the future of the company for the obtain the the cost, the profits, the expenses uh, for the company and the the real situation of the financial of the company. Okay, okay. Uh, Carlos Eduardo, can you tell me if are all these financial statements trustable? Trustable, confiables, trustable. Uh, not my internet is, my signal is, is, is bad. Uh, can, can, can you repeat, please? Okay, can you, um, okay, can these financial statements be trustable? Oh, okay. yes, uh, the financial statement uh, is a report of many, of many reports to show the real situation of the company in, the, in a determinate period to make to make decision uh, uh, and uh, uh, excuse me and uh, the possibility to audit external or uh, in the company external okay okay mm -hmm. external it's, auditory it's very, it's very true true day true data Okay, it's true data, okay? Okay. Okay, so let me ask you, uh, Annie, can we trust in the financial statements? Mm. Yes, uh, uh, for the, uh, in through, uh, no sé cómo explicarle inglés. <laughs> okay, try, es, try, tell me, tell me, try. Es, eh, es como specific eh, or situation in the of company. Okay, like it shows the deficit and it shows the earnings, right? In the company. Is that what you say? Okay, okay, Annie. Okay, Annie. Yes, you're right. You're right. In the concept, me, uh, uh, financial <laughs> states in the question, I mean, I've never said definition the question, I mean. Okay, Annie, who were you working with? Who were you working with? You were working with Giovanni Ramirez, right? Or who were who were you working with? ¿Con quién estaba yes. trabajando usted? No teacher. <laughs> Con Giovanni. Okay. Con Carla. <laughs> okay. Now, dígame la primera parte de su de su concepto luego que siga Giovanni y luego Carla, okay? 
Va. Bueno, es que Wait hicimos on. varios conceptos. Ok, let's try. One bueno, H one. Eh, eh, fin financial statements are a report that institutions, economics and financial situation in the change that they experience at a specific date or period. Only. <laughs> okay. What about you, Giovanni? What did you write? Carla? Okay. Then let's continue with Carla. Okay, teacher. The financial. Uh, <laughs> Giovanni, start you. Giovanni. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, financial statements are great records that com convey the business activities in the financial performance of a company. In, it is information quantitative expressed in units monetary in descriptive that show the position and performance financial of an entity. Okay. Okay. It's a very complex concept, what you had. Okay. Let's see, Carla. Okay. The financial statement is a report that serves to verify the financial and economic situation of the company. They contain passive, active, and utility, <laughs> and all take a decision that is generally in on yearly. Only okay. yearly. Okay. Yeah, yearly. we are talking about certain peri periods of time, right? We are not talking just because one company could be could be having these reports, maybe. Uh, in a semester, maybe in a year, or they have different periods of time to show these um, financial information. And it is real, um, I'm sorry, it is really important to have this to evaluate the performance uh, in the finance activities, okay? In the financial activities of a company. What are the financial activities? What are the financial activities? ¿Cuáles son esas eh, actividades financieras? Which ones are they? Let's uh, see them here. Okay. We are... Hmm. We said something about selling, right? We said something about selling. Uh-huh. What else? What are the activities, financial activities of a company, guys? ¿Cuáles son las actividades financieras de una compañía? What, which ones are they? Mm -hmm. Can you give me some ideas? Ajá. Billing. Billing, okay. Mm -hmm. Billing, what else? Buy A ver, ¿y en español tienen alguna idea? Taxes. Taxes. Taxes, okay. Paying taxes, those are revenue, okay. Revenue, uh-huh. Okay, let's think about the financial activities that provide incomes to the company. Incomes. What are incomes? Incomes are, is the money that gets into the accounts. We could say deposits, okay? We could say uh, the sales, okay? And maybe also um, the assets, okay? The assets are over there, incomes, okay? So let's think about the outcomes, outcomes. 
que es otra eh, finalidad de una eh, actividad financiera. ¿Cuáles actividades financieras son que llevan el dinero hacia afuera? Pago a proveedores. Ok, ok. So those are also um, liabilities. Ok. Liabilities. Uh -huh. Pago a servicios. Ok. We could say service liabilities. Ok. Mm -hmm. So those are debts, right? Those are debts. Uh, vamos a poner acá la palabra y recordemos esta pronunciación que es muy importante porque normalmente nosotros tendemos a decir la letra B, ¿ok? Pero en este caso esta letra es muda, que va a la par de la T, ¿ok? Entonces decimos debts, debts, ¿ok? Debts are liabilities, right? Um, so those are like to pay, right? Things to pay, right? Uh, let me remember something. So debts, liabilities, take the money out. Also investments, okay? Investments. Another uh, income could be the loans from banks, from any other credit uh, institution, right? So. Those are the financial activities that these reports show, okay? So let's continue and let's think about the, um, the not the concept, the terms, okay? The terms, I'm going to erase this thing that's from here. Okay, so let's, let's think that in a financial statement, we are going to see the real situation of this thing. What is this? Cash flow, cash flow. What is cash flow? What is cash and what is flow? <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. It, it's correctly that, but try to explain that in English as you did with financial statement. Así como crearon un concepto de financial statement, tratemos de describir estas palabras, okay? What do you think is a cash flow? Is cash flow. Is the money that goes out and that comes in, right? So incomes and outcomes, incomes and outcomes. But what, what is what we are showing? The period of time that this money is running, right? All the way, all the way, going and coming, right? And what we used that money for, okay? So finances, finances, finances. What do you think is finances? Finances? Finanzas. Okay, yeah, so it's money, right? It's money, but in, uh, how can you explain uh, this word? Mm -hmm. Management money. Great, that's a very good concept, okay? Yes, to manage the money, to manage the money. Great. What about profits? Profits. What is profit? What is profit? Ganancias. Yes. Okay. So you said one word, Giovanni. You said utilities or something like that, right? You, you said a word like that. Uh, but profit is what you gain. Okay. What you gain or you earn doing a uh, uh, financial activity like selling, okay? Like selling, for example. You buy something in a low price and you sell it in uh, for more money, okay? For more money. So if you see all, the, all this information in the financial statements, you evaluate this information, okay? You evaluate this. Maybe the CEO are always evaluating this uh, movement or these um, financial activities in these reports based in, the, in this report. And then 
they make decisions, okay? Then they make decisions. So let's continue and let's go and see the financial statements types because we don't have all the information in only one report. We have different reports that are specific, right? They have specific information because in big companies, it's a lot of data to process. What about um, small company? Uh, the basic, the basic data, but they need the, dif the differentiation of each uh, type of financial statement. ¿Para qué? For example, cuando uno recibe una auditoría, ¿verdad? Para ver eh, qué impuestos hay que cancelar y de acuerdo a esos resultados, Van calculados nuestros impuestos de acuerdo a esos resultados. Incluso va, si necesitamos hacer un préstamo para inyectar un poco, ¿verdad? A, a la estabilidad de la compañía. Va también si tenemos que reducir costos, ¿verdad? To reduce the costs. Uh, todas esas cosas no las vamos a ver en un solo reporte, ¿ok? is they have different reports, okay? They have different reports. So accounting department is in charge of recording and, and um, tracking all these um, information in this financial statement. So the first statement that we have in our manuals is, uh, it's not this one, it's this one. one second. The first one is this one, cash flow, okay? Cash flow. Let's read what is cash flow. Reports on a company's income in a in upcoming of cash, its operating, investing, and financing in activity. Okay, so we are talking about the money, but the one that we can count in pasta, right? Cash, cash, yeah? Because we can have money in assets, right? We can have money in loans, but we don't have it in our hands. Maybe we can have it in a bank account, but we don't have it cash, okay? So we are talking about the cash, yeah? Cash flow. And how do we use this cash? Operating, investing, and financing activity. Okay, so let's continue and let's see the next one. This is another uh, statement, financial statement. So income statement. What is this? What is this? Income statement is summarized a company's income, expense, and profits over a period of time. Okay, good. So it's a summary, right? It's a report that contains the incomes, expenses, and profits. But it's a certain period of time, okay? So let's continue, guys. Let's continue. What about the equity statement? Aquí tenemos dos, una palabra, una frase que no hemos visto. Retain earnings. Retain earnings. So report the changes in the retain earnings of a company during the stated period of time, okay? Reports the changes in what? The retained earnings. This is like a remnant, okay? This is something, an accumulated, right? Accumulated uh, profit that uh, you have to Mm, divide between the shareholders, okay? You have to know, or if you are going to reinvest that or uh, add it to the capital, right? Add it to the capital, or maybe you are going to de de um, 
give a different destination to these retained earnings? Or is the money that just stay there until a new investment um, is on, on the blog, right? Or around, yeah? So reports the changes in the retained earnings, okay? Like an extra money, right? Or something like this. Después de que ya cumplió todas las eh, 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 responsabilidades, la compañía, después que ya cumplió con todas sus responsabilidades, entonces queda un remanente. Eso es lo que muestra este reporte. Equity statement, a retain earning change, ¿ok? Teacher. Este viene siendo con un estado de resultado. Um, yes, but no sé si en el de resultado. Yo no he estudiado accounting, pero le puedo decir que si es donde se lo reparten los acreedores o si buscan un. Ah, exa, eh, perdón, accionistas, sí. Acreedores no es una palabra. Los accionistas, los shareholders. Um, o si ese dinero se va a reinvertir o toman la decisión sobre ese remanente, pues sí, es equity statement. Ah, okay. mm -hmm. Do you work on result uh, statement in the estado de resultados? Kevin? ¿Ha trabajado eso usted? Mm, yes, teacher. Oh, okay. Y, <laughs> y, en este, ¿Y actualmente trabaja en eso? No, teacher. Lo he estudiado. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. Good. Uh -huh. I started this, but maybe 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Not with detail because I have never worked on accounting, but I can tell you in concept and we are uh, just uh, getting familiar with the vocabulary. Okay. With the vocabulary. Porque pues sí, no es una clase de contabilidad, ¿verdad? Es una clase de inglés, right? <laughs> it's not an accounting class. It's an English class, okay? So let's think about the vocabulary. Así que no se preocupen que no les vamos a hacer examen de contabilidad, okay? Ajá, haciendo ahí el debe la ver y sacando los resultados y ay, no me cuadra, no me cuadra. ¿Se acuerdan de esos exámenes ustedes en el bachillerato? La diarización. Oh my God. Was... Con que solo estadística, ok, solo estadística es un dolor de cabeza el examen, right? Exagere. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But do you like math? Si les gusta matemática? Who likes math yes. here? Yes, teacher. Okay, nice. Yes. I used to like math, but now I'm studying eighth grade, right? With my daughter. <laughs> so, yes. And I'm going to start maybe next year in preschool. Okay, so math from preschool is the best. Yeah, counting one, two, three. <laughs> and just the addition, right? Addition, one plus one equals two. Oh, yay, we did it, right? So, yeah. <laughs> Esa matemática sí es bien bonita, ¿verdad? Contando con maicitos, right? Okay, now, going back, okay? Going back, um, the equity statement is where the show go, uh, I mean the shareholders uh, can see the return earnings and they make decisions about reinvesting or uh, dividing okay these earnings right or just they stay there for a next in, uh, investment okay investment inversion investment okay now, the balance sheet, balance. Este como que es el más común. Ese sí todos lo conocemos, ¿verdad? Do you know the balance? Los balances, el balance, right? 
¿De qué se trata un balance? What is balance about? The word self says what's a balance, right? Balance. Yeah? Balance. It has to be equals, right? Equals or maybe the profits and benefits, yeah? Uh, instead of the liabilities. Liabilities has to be down, right? They have to be less para ver que si hay ganancias. Tienen que ser profits up and the liabilities down, right? Okay, so what is a balance sheet? It's a report that uh, contains the company's assets, liabilities, and owner's quality at a given point of time, okay? At a given point of time. Así que, vamos a ver. La frase, given point of time, stated period of time, you see, and over a period of time are similar, okay? They are similar and they are referring to a certain period of time, okay? We were talking about yearly, monthly, semester, uh, in a semester, um, a quarter of year, okay? El trimestre, yeah? So let's go because we have only 45 minutes and we have to do this exercise, okay? Let's try to match the definition, okay? The concept with the financial statement that we have in this, literal and number, okay? Okay. Number one is C. Uh huh. Let's see. Oops. Uh -huh. Number two is D. Number three, A. Uh -huh. Number four, B. What do you think, guys? Are they correct? Yes. Okay. So and your own words. What is a cash flow statement? Report on a company's incoming and outcoming of cash. Okay, great. Now, letter B, income statement. What is that? Mm -hmm. Summarize a company income expenses and profit over a period of time. Okay, what about equity statement? Report of the chain in renting earnings of a company during the stay period. Okay, now let's see. A, oh, I'm sorry. Kevin, please, balance sheet. Um. Uh, reports, uh, 
reports a company assets a year in a two, in a number two. Okay, yeah, but in your own words. Okay, la idea acá de mi pregunta, jóvenes, señores, señoras, ladies and gentlemen, uh, es que ne, eh, cuando nosotros damos un concepto, lo dije desde el principio en la clase, es que busquemos un sinónimo para dar una definición o busquemos una manera de explicarlo en inglés siempre, ¿verdad? Para poder ir empezando a pensar en inglés, ¿ok? Entonces, uh, busquemos siempre en un concepto, siempre busquemos una keyword, una palabra clave, ¿ok? Una palabra clave que diga todo el concepto, for example, o una frase clave, ¿ok? For example, the cash flow, ¿ok? It says, companies incoming, right? An outcoming of cash because we are talking about cash, okay? Income statements. What is an income statement? Uh-huh. Company income, depends on and provide. Okay, great, because it's an income statement, okay? Equity statement. Equity? Balance economic. Uh, the equity statement? Change in rate change. of earning of the company. Okay. Aquí es changes. Changes. Ch changes. Mm -hmm. Un cambio es change. Más cambios, changes. Okay. Changes in retained earnings. Yeah retain earnings. So we have to look for one or one phrase, okay, that explain the whole concept. So we can just uh, say what that thing is about, okay, or what does it mean, okay, instead of looking for a translation, okay. En vez de buscar una traducción, buscamos una palabra clave, verdad? Okay, guys, so now let's discuss and let's share opinions about these statements that we have here. A statement también es una oración o una afirmación, okay, que puede ser tanto negativa como positiva, okay? Así que a statement puede ser algo negativo, positivo, incluso una pregunta. Eso puede ser un statement, un, como una afirmación, una oración, algo que alguien dice, ¿ok? So, number one, it's not so important to know about the incomes and outcomes of a, uh, that a company has. What do you think? Number one, opinions, opiniones. Is it important or isn't important? It's very important. It's important. It's very important. Why? Why do you think it is important? To make decision. Because it's necessary uh, no activity the company. Okay, and what happens if you don't know about how much do you, I mean, you are making an income and how much you are expending or spending uh, maybe in a finance activity that you are doing? What do you think it happens? What do you think if you don't know about your incomes and uh, outcomes, what happened? ¿Qué puede suceder si usted no sabe de las entradas y de los, uh, y de los gastos? It is balanced. You take a bad decisions and, and you lose. Okay. 
Okay, so you don't know. Here. You don't know if you lost or you make a profit, right? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. So that's what Sylvia said. Now, what about you said? Why is it important? Why is this so important? Esto lo dijo Silvio acerca de lo número uno, ¿ok? Otra opinión acerca del número uno. Teacher, ¿cómo se dice malversación en inglés? Oh my God, you got me. I'm gonna look for it, okay? Just let me go get it. Malversación. Uh, mis, um, fraud. Fraud is fraud, okay? The other is uh, scam is fraud too. So miss Des something, miss sería, something. Sería como desviar, teacher. Yeah. So that's why that is sí, como... misdirect or something like that, mm -hmm. right? Mis, misuse, misuse. Yeah, let me let me look it up. Misuse. Um, pa, 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 pa. Misuse. I think Un it is misuse. Sinónimo podría ser eh, desviar fondos o. Mm -hmm. pues o aprovecharse. Take advantage. Uh huh. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Well, it has kind of a very oh, interesting. Yeah, embezzlement, 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 embezzlement. Okay, it's here. Yeah, I'm going to put it here. This is a new word for me too. Okay. Embezzlement. Embezzlement. It's a very uh, not good word, right? Can you hear it? Si se oyó? Embezzlement. Okay. Okay, let's write it down here. It says, and, and ah, si es que no tengo letra Z. <laughs> yeah, it's something like sí. this. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, and the word I said it was misused, right? Misused. Uh -huh. The other word for fraud is like this. Okay. And the other one was scam, staffa. Okay. Oh. Scam, staffa. Yeah. So, yes, you're right, Nancy. You can get these problems. Maybe someone is stealing, right? Or robbing, right? Maybe someone is stealing or robbing, or you can also uh, prove that this company is not paying taxes, right? As the thing that yeah, we are yeah, living, yeah. yeah, yeah. By the way, right? By the way in El Salvador, right? So embezzlement, they said. Entonces podemos poner to avoid or to detect, right? To avoid or detect, yeah, detect, yes, is it okay now, yes. see Nancy, yes teacher, thank you very much for your, um, for this new word, oh my god, Im embezzlement. embezzlement, embezzlement, okay, Suena algo raro cuando 
por lo que estábamos hablando, ¿verdad? Pero miren, es algo así. Sí se oye. No. Investment. No, embezzlement. Let me try again. Embezzlement. Okay. Embezzlement. Embezzlement. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that's the word yeah. shows here. Como desfalco, fraude, misappropriation, okay? Abstraction, okay? So, yes. We could say Lo that. Got, um? Look at God. Look at God. I Look could... at Gato encerrado. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I could I could barely hear you because you tried to say it three times. So it was like with interference. Uh, but yeah, yes, yes. You can say something related with the, the El Salvador news, right? <laughs> yes. Real, real situation, right? Okay, cualquier parecido dice es pura coincidencia. Porque no podemos acusar a nadie, ¿verdad? Hasta que no se pruebe por medio de sus estados de cuenta, ¿verdad? Todos los financial statements are to prove or to deny, right? That this is happening. Okay. Are we okay with this, guys? Yes, teacher. Okay, then. So it's 10 o'clock, so I have to take the attendance. Tomorrow we are going to talk about these two points, number two and number three. Okay, uh, let's continue here with the attendance. I'm sorry, guys. Stop, 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 stop. La, las notas, teacher. Ponga las notas. <gasps> oh, my God. Imagínense, imagínense, les pongo las notas, todos van a decir, oh, wow, qué bien, boy, excellent, yes, I'm such a good student, yeah. It's for, motive. It's for motivation. <laughs> no, y activa, y activa, activa el, el botón de editar aquí. <laughs> Guys, please, no fraud, no scam, guys. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. Embezzle of, um, <laughs> of scores. Yeah, embezzlement <laughs> of scores. Oh, thank you very much. You are so helpful, guys. I know, I know that you want to help me, but no, it's okay. I can do it. I can do it. <laughs> okay. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. She was having problems with the audio. There you are, Ana Cristina. Okay. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present teacher. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present teacher. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sánchez. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramirez Abrego. Present teacher. Nancy Betova Rivera. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Zuleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Okay, people, so I think we covered the whole material that we had for tonight. So let us meet tomorrow. Have a good night. Nancy, it's your turn. Are you staying? Yes. Okay, everybody, have a good night and please take a good rest. Sí.
Thank you, teacher. Good, Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. Good night. Good night, teacher. Hello. Hi, Nancy. We are waiting for day two. Oh, disconnect. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. There we are. Have a good night, Anna Cristina. Okay, there we are. So how can I help you, Nancy? Do you have any question? Teacher, a mí mm -hmm. me cuesta. <laughs> Pero okay, but no problem. Yo, you are doing a good effort. Mm -hmm. Ajá, esto, esto me tiene confundida lo del was, lo del were, y, e incluso lo de did. O sea, Ajá. cómo estructurar, eso sí, sí me cuesta. No sé si me podría dar así una pequeña repasadita en 10 minutos. Ok, vamos a ver, vamos a ver. A ver, a ver, a ver. Déjeme llegar a los slides de esa parte, ¿ok? okay. Vaya, sí. primero hay que recordarse, Nancy, que son eh, el was, ill, were, son la forma del verbo be en el tiempo pasado simple, ¿verdad? La cuestión es que ese sirve para decir que, para describir en tiempo pasado, ¿verdad? Una acción que terminó en el pasado. Entonces, esa tiene una forma totalmente independiente de lo, del did. Was no se mezcla con did. Were no se mezcla con did. ¿Ok? Déjenme llegar al pasado aquí en las slides. Entonces, tenemos... Estructuras, no, no tengo slides, las vamos a hacer, ok, pero vamos a estar basados en un, aquí, aquí tengo el slide, ok, para que lo mire. En este que es del manual, eh, tenemos unos ejemplos para que pueda ubicarse en la estructura, ok, este que está arriba, This one that is in this box. Estas oraciones están compuestas en tiempo pasado usando verbos diferentes de be. Okay? Verbos totalmente diferentes de be. Y estos de abajo son como se hacen en utilizando el pasado del be. Okay? Del verbo be. Cero estar, ¿verdad? En todo caso sería estuvo, ¿verdad? O fue, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, aquí podríamos decir, it was a great experience. Uh, fue una excelente experiencia, una buenísima experiencia, gran experiencia. Ok, veamos entonces que para la forma positiva, cuando decimos una acción que ya se terminó, fue ayer, fue last year, fue last month, ¿verdad? En el tiempo pasado, porque las expresiones en el tiempo pasado usan last, Ago, ¿verdad? Last o ago. Entonces, veamos aquí. Dice, el sujeto es lo que ponemos primero en el afirmativo, ¿verdad? I, you, we, they, he, she, it. En el pasado, el verbo no cambia su forma, como está en, el, en la columna 2 de la listita que, le enseñe, que les mandé. Ok, uh -huh. ahí va a encontrar y lo mejor es que lo vaya memorizando para que no le dé problema, porque si no las memoriza, difícilmente va a poder establecer estas oraciones. Ok, entonces, por ejemplo, en esta llevamos el sujeto, luego el verbo en el pasado simple, okay, que es la, seg la segunda forma ¿verdad? en la columna, y luego ponemos el complemento. El complemento. Exactly, the complement. Entonces, sujeto I. Past simple form of the verb gave. ¿Cuál es el presente de este verbo? Give. Pasado, gave. 
my account information. Ok. He es el sujeto. Called es el pasado de called. ¿Verdad? Yesterday at night. Entonces, aquí estamos diciendo yo le di o yo di mi información de la cuenta. ¿Verdad? Aquí, he called yesterday at night. Él llamó ayer en la noche. Ok. The program worked well. Ok. The program is the subject. Worked the verb in the past simple tense. Y luego el complemento. Este es un adjetivo, mire. Well. Well. Ajá. Y así tenemos la última aquí. They bought that product last week. Si se fija, aquí hay otra expresión en pasado, entonces el verbo va en pasado, ¿verdad? Entonces, sujeto, verbo y complemento. Esto es en la forma positiva, afirmativa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Aquí no utilizamos did, sino que usamos la forma del verbo en pasado simple, ¿mir? Ok. Ahora, veamos el pasado del verbo be. Aquí no usamos ningún did, mire. No. Va el sujeto, va la forma que le corresponde al sujeto y el complemento. Vamos a ver entonces, Nancy, para que se ubique mejor, ¿ok? Las formas del verbo be, ¿ok? Se recuerda que en presente son I am, you are, he is, she, she is, uh -huh. she is, uh -huh. uh, it is, uh -huh. uh, we, we are, they are. Okay. Okay. Ahora pasemos estos al pasado. Cuando hablamos con el sujeto I, que hablo en primera persona es I was ok para uh, you es you were ok you were uh -huh. he para... was okay. exactly uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. and she she was ok uh -huh. It, it was. Correct. Mm -hmm. We, okay. we are, no, we were. Exactly, yeah. we yeah. were. Mm -hmm. In the past they, tense for day? They, no, they were. They okay. were. Excellent. Ok, esta es ya conjugado el pasado del verbo be. Ok. El verbo be. Y este es totalmente independiente de did. En el pasado usted puede ver did para todos los demás verbos. Y va a ver was and were para el verbo be. ¿Ok? Entonces, aquí tenemos en estas oraciones cómo se usa el be en pasado. ¿Ok? Directamente. It was a great experience. Fue. ¿Verdad? Esto fue. Una gran experiencia, ¿ok? Ahora aquí, the agent puede ser he, puede ser she, ¿verdad? Was very helpful. Está describiendo cómo fue la gente, ¿verdad? Que la, lo atendió. Entonces, the agent was, was very helpful. You were, porque para you, mire, es where, you were on our page. Okay. And the last one, we, usamos were para los plurales, ¿verdad? We and they were excited about service. Okay, about the okay. service. Okay, así usamos en forma positiva. Ahora veamos la forma negativa. ¿Cómo sería la forma negativa? Hagamos el negativo de estos que tenemos acá, ¿ok? Voy a pasar para acá esto un poquito. Empecemos con el negativo de el be. Ok. Y vamos a poner. Voy a hacer otra. 
otra, otro cuadrito aquí para que lo vean la parte. Ok. Aquí sería, I was not. Ok. Que también se puede contractar. ¿Verdad? Y sería, I wasn't. Ok. Ok. Y así sucesivamente, you were not. Were not. Y eso es igual. You were, you ah. were not. ¿Contractado cómo sería? Sería. Were not. Es que no sé cómo. Pero. Contractado es you weren't. You weren't. Okay. Weren't. Okay. Weren't. Yes. He <laughs> was not. Was y ahora si lo contractamos, ¿cómo sería? He wasn't. What? Okay. Okay. Va, dígalo conmigo. Wasn't. He wasn't. Eso, he, he wasn't. wasn't. He wasn't. Okay, now she was not. She was not. Esto she, ya contractado, ¿cómo sería? She wasn't. Okay. Y para it, it was not, ¿cómo it sería contractado? It wasn't. Okay, great. It wasn't. Now, what about we? Were, we were, were not. We were not. Ok. ¿Cómo sería we, contractado? We were not. Weren't. Así dígalo. We, weren't. Weren't. Eso. We weren't. weren't. We uh -huh. weren't. Ok. We There you weren't. are. Good, Nancy. Thank you, teacher. Now, we, uh, uh, they, they, they. Uh -huh. They were. Were not. Okay. And contracted? We weren't. Uh, they. They weren't. Okay. They weren't. Ahí está. Okay. Entonces, si hacemos, estas, estas las voy a subir para que las veamos en forma más clara. Okay. Voy a subir acá para no. Y voy a bajar esta. Okay. Okay. Ahora. Uh, quizás aquí la voy a poner. Aquí. Bye. Y me voy a poner de regreso aquí. Para poder ver las de abajo. ¿Ok? Ok. Entonces. Vamos a ver la primera. ¿Ok? La primera. Primera oración. No está relacionado con I was. Sino que aquí dice it was. Si la hago negativa. Que no fue una buena experiencia. ¿Cómo sería? It was, wasn't, what, no, it wasn't uh -huh. a great experience. Ok. ¿Cómo sería la siguiente? The agent. Uh -huh. oh, sería. Uh, was, wasn't. Ajá. Uh -huh. Very helpful. Okay. Okay. Y el siguiente, ¿cómo sería? You, you, mm -hmm. you weren't, weren't, weren't mm -hmm. on our page. Okay. Y ahí ya le vamos agarrando, ¿verdad? <laughs> sí. Sí. Ok. Con we, ¿cómo sería? We, La última. We weren't. Ajá. Exciting about service. Ok. Vale, esto es la forma negativa. Usamos wasn't y usamos weren't. Ok. Cuando usted yeah. quiere dar énfasis, dice were not. Y no hay problema. Si no lo dice contratado, no es problema. ¿Ok? No. Pero suena más fluido contractado, ¿verdad? Porque acorta y es como más rápido, ¿verdad? Entonces, no, sí, sí. por eso contractamos. Porque nativo, pues, lo contracta, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a ver. Esto es en el negativo. 
Ahora, si yo quiero preguntar, por ejemplo, algo de eh, con el que, que sucedió en el pasado, si yo quiero preguntar algo que sucedió en el pasado con este verbo del be, ok, lo utilizo como cuando aprendimos el to be en presente. ¿Se acuerda que ponemos primero is Is it a good experience? Ok. Uh, ah. Are you a doctor? Ok. Utilizamos la misma estructura. Así. Solo que en pasado. Okay. Solo ¿Verdad? Que pasado. Entonces, okay. por ejemplo, cambiamos el orden, ¿verdad? Para hacerlo pregunta, pasamos was, was it al principio. Okay. Exactamente. Y ahora, sí, en este, en el plural, igual. Va al principio. Okay. Were you on our page? Ok, lo voy a escribir para que lo recuerde. Ok, was it a great experience? Really. Uh -huh. Y le pongo el question mark para que se vea que es pregunta. Si no okay. tiene el question mark, no es pregunta. Ok, vamos a ver entonces con el where. Vamos a hacer esa pregunta. Were you... Ok, where you on our page. Ok. Y el question mark. Y el question mark. Ok. Entonces, esta es la forma de preguntar. Va, mire, ya vimos el afirmativo, ¿verdad? Bueno, el presente, el pasado afirmativo, el pasado negativo y la forma de preguntar en... En el, uh, en el verbo be. Esto es el verbo be. Verbo, verbo, verbo. verbo be. Nada más. Okay. Ahora voy a borrar todo esto y nos vamos a enfocar en esto. ¿Ok? Porque este ya es otra forma y no tiene nada que ver con esta. ¿Ok? Este es muy diferente. Aquí, para que sea negativo, tenemos que poner didn't. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. en, el, en el simple en el simple past, past exactly simple. pero es en el negativo ¿verdad? en el positivo negativo. no usamos did solamente el verbo en pasado y ya ¿verdad? Uh -huh. pero en el, en el negativo sí entonces vamos a ver I did not y se contracta como didn't ¿verdad? Puede usar did not o puede usar didn't. Didn't. Ajá. De acuerdo al énfasis que usted le quiera hacer o que usted escuche que están haciendo el énfasis, ¿verdad? Ok. Entonces, Ahí. la contracción es didn't. didn't. Ahora, ¿cómo ponemos el verbo? El verbo ya no va en pasado porque este didn't hace que sea pasado. Uh -huh. Entonces... Voy a borrar uno de estos para que me quede más cómodo para hacerle. Ok. I didn't. Ahora, ¿cuál es el presente de gay? Mm. Give. Give. Ok. Give. I didn't give. 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 My, my account information. Ok. Y ahí lo tenemos. ¿Ok? O sea, Así que el es el... presente. En ese... Exactly. Pero si lleva didn't, si está hablando que no le dio. ¿Ok? Ah, si usted pero... está diciendo que no llamó, que no trabajó, que no comió, que no compró, entonces usa didn't y el verbo en forma base, que es la primera columna, donde usted mira el presente o el infinitivo en la, en la listita que les envié, es Ajá. la primera columna, ¿ok? Ok. Ahora, hagamos negativa esta otra. Ok. Uh -huh. Y... Uh, y viven... Uh -huh. All yesterday at night. Correcto. Okay. Eso es lo que me tenía confundida. Perfecto. Pero mire ahora, ya lo vamos destrabando. A ver, sí. ahora, si queremos hacer una pregunta, si queremos eh, 
pedir eh, una información de algo que sucedió y que Ajá. terminó esa acción en el pasado, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a utilizar, tenemos dos maneras de preguntas, dos tipos de preguntas. Tenemos el, la pregunta directa, que es la que se usa con did al principio, ¿verdad? Y que solo requiere la respuesta para confirmar sí o no, ¿verdad? Yes, I did. No, no yes. I didn't. No, I did. Ajá. Entonces, hagamos esta. Esta que sigue acá. Hagámosla en pregunta. The word. Okay. The program. The, the problem. The program. Ajá. Word well. Ok. Aquí work. utilizamos work. No work. work. Ah, Utilizamos perdón, siempre el presente, ¿verdad? En la pregunta, porque ya tenemos did, ya no necesitamos poner el pasado del verbo. Entonces, did the program work well? Well. well. Ok. Ahora. Yes, I did sería la respuesta. No eh, respuesta es corta, ¿verdad? Sí, oh. pero en este caso, the program is it, ¿verdad? The program is it. So, yes, it did. Yes, it. O oh. puede ser, no, it didn't. ¿Ok? Aquí estamos solo confirmando, ¿verdad? Y se llaman preguntas directas. No está directo. Ajá. El otro tipo de preguntas, Nancy, es con las WH words. Que son las preguntas de información. Uh -huh. Que usted está pidiendo información. Ahí utilizamos where, what, when, why, how. Ok. Ahora hagamos esta. Que tenemos la cuando lo hizo. Ok. Cuando lo hicieron ellos. Entonces pongamos. When. Ok. Did, When. mire, WH word y luego el did. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh -huh. When did. Y ahora ponemos el sujeto. They. Ahora ponemos el verbo en presente. ¿Cuál es el verbo en presente de bought? Uh -huh. es que no es bow. Ajá, ¿cuál sería el verbo en presente? De bought. Dice ahí, ya me poncho. Buy. Buy, perdón, Ajá. comprar, ¿verdad? Buy. Yes. Ajá. Entonces, Bad. when did they buy the product? Y entonces le ponemos el question mark. Ahora, ahí tenemos la, la información, ¿verdad? De cuándo lo compraron. Ahí dice last week. So, cuando yo voy a contestar, Vuelvo a usar una positiva, ¿verdad? Entonces uso esta forma que está acá, ¿verdad? Y digo, they bought that product last week. ¿Ok? Sí, dicho. Mm -hmm. They bought that product last week. <laughs> Es una locura. Ay, no. Es que esto no. me tenía confundida. Todas estas. Sí. Todas estas conjugaciones. Pero, ah. Es que le tocó entrar tarde un día de esto, ¿verdad? Ahí fue donde se perdió bastante de la explicación. Sí, es que no, no me pude conectar. Entonces ahí sí. Uh -huh. sí, sí me quedé. Me quedé un poco. Y el siguiente día ya habían avanzado bastante en el tema también. Ajá. Entonces me tenía confundida cómo es que había. He empezado a conjugar las palabras. Ok. Pero así es lo, lo básico, básico, ¿verdad? Ahora solo falta sí. pues que usted practique y las lea nuevamente. Todos los ejemplos que hemos dado. Vea los videos para que le quede, se le resuelvan las dudas que si tiene alguna okay. otra al momento que lo está haciendo. Y pues también me puede encontrar en el chat, ¿verdad? Si tiene alguna pregunta para poder resolver la duda, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok. Sí. Ya, por ahorita, bueno, esa era mi duda, más que todo con... 
okay. de cómo conjugarlo, pero, pero ya le quité más de los 10 minutos. <laughs> no problem. Lo que importa es que lo aprenda bien, que quede clarito, ¿verdad? That you have this clear. Mm -hmm. Okay, teacher. Okay. Sí, hoy sí le entendí. Bueno, me okay. alegra. Ay, muchas mm. gracias por haberme explicado y tomarse más tiempo del debido. Okay, no problem. My pleasure. My pleasure. That's why I'm here for, okay? Lo hago con okay. mucho gusto. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, have a good night, Nancy. Okay, good night, teacher. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> See you. Bye. Bye.